Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Homestead, where we do homestead stuff and talk about it. The subject matter for today's video is sitting right here behind me. It is the Frigidaire, oh wait, Humidaire, Homemade Refrigerator Incubator. Now, this thing's been sitting idle for about eight months or so. So it is a little dusty inside, but it's no different than an old Corvette you might find in a barn. Now let me explain to you what's happened for the ones that are new here that have never seen this thing. I say it is a little bit dusty, but let me, now I'll tell you what, let me clean it up. All right, that's wiped out good enough. Now, real quick for the new ones here, I'm just using the bottom out of an old incubator I had, and that's also what's turning the eggs for me. And there's the heat lamp, and that keeps this thing about 100 degrees where it needs to be. Now, I'll show you what controls that. This is the Inkbird ITC608, and all it really is is a smart switch. See if it'll come on. I hadn't used it in a while. There it is. Okay, as you can see, 34.7 degrees Fahrenheit right now, 75% relative humidity. And both of those readings are coming. This is the temperature, and this is the humidity. And the temperature gets up to, I think, 101. This heat lamp will turn off. It's plugged in right here. This is the temperature switch and this is the humidity switch. And I control the humidity by this fish tank aerator right here that is going to this water container right under the light. And that little fan right there, I got it tied into that little power supply. All it does is just uh, circulate the air in there to, to prevent any hot spots or any collection of humidity in one spot. Like always, I'll put the links to all this stuff down in the description. This heat lamp being right above the, the water tank really, what am I trying to say? It helps thermal mass. If you get that big tank of water hot, you can hold a lot more heat in here longer after it gets hot. And also the, uh, the warm water, when the humidity gets too low, the aerator kicks on and starts blowing bubbles in that water tank, thus raising the humidity. I've got my tank full. Let me show you what happens when the humidity drops down below the parameters I have set. Okay, you can see the heat lamp. It's already working. It's up to 47 degrees so far. The humidity is at 70% and climbing. But watch when I open the door. Now you can see the humidity dropping rapidly. And when it gets down to about 57% humidity, the aerator kicks on and starts blowing bubbles in the water tank. Now when the door closes, we watch the humidity go back up. And it don't take long for it to climb back up to where the aerator kicks off. about right there. I'll also put some water under this tray as you would if you were using it as a as a regular little styrofoam incubator. Let's go get some eggs and put in it. There we go. It cooled off a little bit while we were loading it up, but it'll catch back up in just a few minutes. And the best part about it is that does that while I'm at work. I don't have to do anything else to it. In 18 days, I'll come back out here and uh, take the eggs off the turner and crank the humidity up just a little bit. Other than that, it's, it's hands free. It's automatic. That's where I put my refrigerator incubator above those little styrofoam incubators. Cause you always in there fiddling with them little styrofoam. If you can't never get them set just right and you don't have any idea what the humidity is doing. So a junk refrigerator, and I can't even remember how much that stuff costs, but I can tell you it wasn't much. I have an incubator that acts like an expensive one, but it wasn't expensive. So y'all stick around for part two. It should be coming out here in about 21 days. Wait, before I go, the Gibson Branch family subscriber map is on the way. I got a map coming that's four foot tall and like six and a half foot wide. And for all the subscribers out there, I'm going to put a pin like that one in that map that represents you. So anyway, that's why I was asking everybody a couple of videos ago, if you're a subscriber, tell me where you live. If you're not a subscriber, this don't apply to you. But if you are subscribed and you have told me where you lived, you're gonna get a pin on a map uh, within a week. I'm, I'll be sure to show you. And look at there, temperature's almost there. Lord willing, we'll see y'all in three weeks with some baby chicks. Y'all take care. We'll see you on the next one.